The side hustle ideas I'll be sharing with you in this video are for anyone with the passion and persistence to take action and put in the work. It's not just for women. And there are a lot of ways to make money that aren't online. But for this video, we're going to be focusing on side hustles that you can do online. Whether you're looking to earn passive income, diversify your income, or quit your day job, the list I'll be sharing with you can get you started. Each option has its own and cons, so it's important to do your research and choose the best option for you. Be sure to consider your skill set, your schedule, income goals while making your decision. Take time to find what works best for you and your situation. That being said, let's get started. If you're new here, welcome to my little corner on the internet. My name is Ufon Akman and on this channel, I share content on career, side hustles, personal development and faith. I hope you make the decision to stay with me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Number one is becoming a virtual assistant. As a virtual assistant, you provide administrative other support to businesses and individuals from the comfort of your home. This is a great option for those that are well organized and detail oriented. You can work as many or few hours as you want depending on your schedule and hustle level. <laughs> you can even scale and add team members to create an agency. Before we talk about the pros and the cons, I have a video on this channel on how you can get started as a virtual assistant. I'm going to leave the link here or in the description. This is the video. This side hustle can be done entirely online. Flexible work hours, which means you can set your own schedule and also create time for other commitments. And of course, you can work from home. You can work from anywhere in the world as long as you have a computer, a laptop, and a stable internet connection. You can build a good client base that will always come back to do business with you and also refer others to do business with you. I often tell people that most of the jobs I get are based on referrals. Just do a good job and let your work speak for you. Now to the cons. You may have to work on sociable hours if you're working with clients from a different time zone. So you have to keep this in mind. Another one is that client requests might be last minute and unpredictable. So you have to keep it in mind as well. Again, I have a video dedicated for this topic. Check it out. Number two is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is relatively easy to start and can be a great way to earn some extra cash. It involves promoting other people's products and services and earning a commission on any sales you generate. There are a few things to keep in mind before getting started in affiliate marketing. First, you need to find a good affiliate program to join. You need to make sure you're promoting a product that is relevant to your audience. Finally, you need to be prepared to invest time and effort into building your affiliate marketing business. This is not a get rich quick scheme. None of these side hustles I'll be sharing with you are they are not. You have to put in the time and effort in building each of this hustle I'm going to be sharing with you. Affiliate marketing has a low startup cost, basically no startup cost at all. You can do it from anywhere in the world as long as you have a computer and a stable internet connection. You will need to put in time and effort to build a following or traffic to your blog, YouTube channel, social media account, whatever medium you're going to be using, you will need to put in time to build a following. You will need to put in time to build subscribers before you start seeing any significant earning. Secondly, this is a very competitive industry. Number three is proof reading, get paid, to read. That's right, you can get paid to read and correct other people's writing. To do this, you need to have an eye for detail and be able to work quickly and efficiently. You can set up a profile on Upwork and Fiverr and build your portfolio. Proofreading can be a great way to earn some extra cash, but it's important to take cognizance of the pros and the cons. So let's take a few. This side hustle is relatively easy. It can be done anytime, anywhere, as long as you have a computer and a stable internet connection proofreading is a tedious work it can be easy to make mistakes this is why you need to have a good eye for detail and be able to focus for long period proofreading is also a relatively low paying gig so it might not really worth your while if you're looking to make a lot of money in a short term 
Number four is to become a social media manager. As a social media manager, you'll be responsible for creating and executing social media strategies for individuals and businesses' social media accounts. Instagram, TikTok, X, LinkedIn this could involve anything from creating content and scheduling posts to engaging with followers and conducting social media campaigns. It can be done entirely online. You don't need a physical office to take on the side hustle. As a social media manager, you have the freedom to work from anywhere in the world. You can work from your home with your pajamas on. You can travel while you work as long as you have a good laptop and access to the internet you can earn a good income as a social media manager this side hustle is very lucrative if you know what i mean social media management is time consuming so you need to have a good time management skill and you have to keep up with changes in the social media landscape so you need to have a knack for learning and research because the industry is constantly evolving Number five is tutoring English online. There are several online platforms that allow you to tutor students from all over the world. I have shared some of them on this channel and I think next week I should be posting more. So you have to turn on your notification bell so you can stay updated. And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, this is the time to do that. Kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of this update thank you so much it can be done entirely online as long as you have a laptop and a stable internet connection you can set your own hours and then it's a great way to connect with people from all over the world it may have to do with time differences if you have students from other countries and you need to be comfortable using technology for lesson and communication number six is to create an online course if you're an expert on a particular subject or you have a skill you know will be beneficial to others why not create an online course this can be a lot of work to put together trust me <laughs> i have been contemplating on taking on the side hustle since last year and i'm yet to get started on it because it takes a lot of work but if you're able to pull through that fear, this can be a great way to earn some extra cash for yourself. Passive income. The best part of creating an online course is that you can set your own price and sell it to people from all over the world. It's not going to be limited to people in your country. So there are a few things you need to keep in mind if you're thinking of creating an online course. First, you need to make sure you have something valuable to offer. Your course should be teaching something that people want to learn. Secondly, you need to take time to create quality content. That's why I don't want to rush into it. This is not a quick or easy process. So it's important you put in the time and the effort to create a course that is well designed and engaging. Finally, you have to promote your course. I know I'm doing this for my ebook and it's the same thing with creating an online course. You have to promote it you have if not nobody will know about it you can't put in so much effort and not promote it and not promote your work show your work this is a book i'm reading by austin creon 10 ways to share your creativity and get discovered so you cannot put in so much work creating an online course and not promote it you will need to let people know that your course exists and why they should take it show thy work okay this can be tailored to your specific strength and interest you don't have to do something that is off your radar it can be a great way to share your knowledge and expertise with others with a wider audience with an online course you can build your brand and establish yourself as an authority in that particular field it can be time consuming and you need a lot of promotion in order to get people to sign up and selling courses can be competitive so make sure you're giving out value it's well designed and engaging and you promote number seven is to become a freelance writer if you have the skill you can start by simply offering your services to individuals and businesses who need content for their websites or marketing materials. Online platforms like Fiverr, Upwork, LinkedIn are a great way to start. And you can use your social media platforms. I've mentioned LinkedIn. You can use your Instagram to brand yourself and start offering 
the services to people, to individuals and businesses. Promote yourself. Put yourself out there. Send cold emails. There are also many opportunities for freelance writers to write ebook, ghost writing, and other types of books. Speaking of ghost writing, I'll be throwing more light on this topic and how you can get started. So subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you stay updated. This year, we are bringing value back to back and you don't want to miss it. There are varieties of ways to find clients, word of mouth, social media, networking, and you can do this from the comfort of your home. You don't need an office as long as you have a computer and a stable internet connection. Work can be feast or famine. Work can be plenty or nah. So you have to keep this in mind. You might have to hustle to find clients. That's why I mentioned that you have to pitch yourself, sell yourself, send cold emails. I cannot begin to mention how many emails and how many DMs I've gotten from freelancers. So put yourself out there. What's the worst that can happen? You get a no, they ghost you. Keep going. The market is saturated you may have to compete but no grief number eight is to start a youtube channel by creating a channel and posting regularly you can attract subscribers and viewers from all around the world if this is the side hustle you want to take on i have a lot of videos for you on this channel from creating videos with your phone editing lightning everything you need is on this channel the good thing about starting a youtube channel is that you can literally make videos on pretty much anything the key is to create quality content that people will want to watch you also need to be active on social media and build your following because this is where you're going to promote your youtube videos oh this video is out we have a new video on the channel go and watch so you have to be active on social media this is something that I was not taken seriously, but I had to immediately. I started creating content on YouTube. YouTube offers the opportunity to reach a large audience with your content. Secondly, you can use the channel as a springboard to launch other creative endeavors that you may have. It takes a while to build a following. It takes a lot of work to create content. <laughs> don't let anybody lie to you it takes a, you see what i'm doing now it takes a lot of work from research brainstorming scripting filming editing uh, <laughs> promoting it takes a lot of work to come up with one video one one video this is not a quick way to make money if you're in nigeria you need to have 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours the 1,000 subscribers is might not be a problem. See where the problem lies. It starts 4K watch hours. It takes a lot of time. Another point is that this environment is a competitive one and you might get lost. You might lose yourself if you're not careful. You might start a channel, say, six months before someone else and then you see that that person is growing faster than you. And you're like, what am I doing wrong? And you might want to start copying the person and lose yourself in the process so you have to be careful know what you want to put out there and stay true to yourself trust me with value and consistency you get to where you want to be number nine is to become a ugc creator ugc user generated content Many companies are looking for real people. When I mean real people, I know influencers are real people. <laughs> I mean people that are actually using this product or have interacted with their product. UGC allows for creative freedom and expression. It can open doors to collaborations from brands and some brands offers compensation, free products or cash for reviewing their product. The compensation for UGC can be inconsistent ghosting because when you reach out to brands not all of them will respond to you oh i forgot to add this when i started on ugc you, you can start the side hustle basically with any products existing products you have in your house you're currently using start with it 
Number 10, podcast editing service. With the podcasting industry booming, many creators are looking for someone to handle the technical side of things. If you have audio or video editing skills, consider taking this on as a side hustle. Do not leave money on the table. With your skills, please, don't leave money on the table. Take this on. You can find opportunities on freelancing platforms or reaching out to podcasters directly. So that's it, friend. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.